Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and get us started anyways. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, you know what? We love our Cooking with Champions show every Wednesday night at 8 o'clock. And always feel free to get on. Even if you have invited guests and they're not getting on, you get on. Because you never know when you might learn something new, right? And so welcome to tonight's Cooking with Champions. And we wanted to start right on time. So thank you so much for being here with us. Uh, so we have a lot going on with Tupperware right now. And um, as I have always said, our product is always evolving. And it's so cool to have so many beautiful product lines in our line. And, you know, today, right now, all of us are thinking, I need, uh, you know, it's getting a little chillier outside in the evenings and that you want, you're craving the soups and the stews and all the wonderful yummies that you can make in our product line. And we liked uh, cooking things with lots of flavor, but we don't want to cook it all day. And so we've got some really cool products in our line. So if you haven't seen Tupperware lately, you really need to visit um, our Cooking with Champion each and every week. And so that you can learn some of our new ideas and new recipes, our product lines. And tonight's all about checking us out. And you can see uh, a little and uh, go ahead and purchase from your Tupperware representative. I hope she's a champion. And um, also you can turn around and say, hey, you know what, I, I need a, like a lot of these things and go ahead and schedule uh, a Facebook Tupperware party or a um, small group party. And, or you can actually do, go ahead and say, you know what, there's so many things I'd love to have. I just want to get my discount and join our team and get a discount on anything that you want to purchase and bring into your own home. Um, we're going to turn this over to Kelly. She is in charge of our uh, cooking show tonight. And we'll jump back over here and let you see the kits a little while longer in case you want to look at one of these kits. Um, and uh, the kits do come with a full line cut work catalog. If you happen to be a guest with us this evening and you're looking over the software business, if you have a catalog, you can actually find the kits in the catalog as well. They're near the back, all right? But uh, I'll also go through them for you just so you can see and know the value of the kits. Uh, we're looking at a great opportunity for you to get in on a really good deal when you're looking at the kits and it's a tax write-off because you're gonna join your own business and start your own business, you'll be able to write them off as well. So let's turn it over and find out what Kelly's, ki uh, Kelly's kitchen is cooking tonight. Whoa, there's a lot of things. All right, bye guys. All right, so tonight we are making easiest fudge ever, and we're going to be using a couple different products that we have, and they're some of my favorite products. Um, I mean, it's kind of hard to pick a favorite product because every product is my favorite, but that's okay because these are some of my absolute favorite, and one of them is actually a brand new product that we actually just launched a couple weeks ago, so um, maybe you'll want this because it's really cool. So we're going to, it's called, literally called Easiest Fudge Ever, and it, it has a couple of ing ingredients, so I've never actually made this, so you're going to be, we're going to be doing this together. So we're going to be using the stack cooker. We're going to be using the um, one and three fourths um, size. And I have the stack cooker over here. Oh, you can't even see it. I have the whole set sitting over there. Um, now, hopefully you guys don't fall because you're on a weird stand. So bear with me. All right. So anyways, um, so we're going to be putting all of our ingredients inside of here besides our vanilla extract, or you could use any type of flavoring that you like. I thought about getting coconut, but we're gonna do vanilla for now. So we're gonna be putting three cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips inside of here. And then we're also gonna be putting two cups of mini marshmallows and um, a pinch of salt, which I already put in. And then we're gonna be also putting in two tablespoons of butter and we're gonna be doing our sweet and condensed milk as well. And I'm gonna show you how to open it with our super cool can opener. So this can opener is really nifty and it's awesome because it actually doesn't cut the seal, it actually breaks your seal. So it's not gonna have any sharp edges and you don't have to worry about, your kids can do it. And then somebody that has like um, arthritis or maybe not strong hands, it's very easy for them to use. So all you do is you open these little legs here, you put on, um, put it on there and then you'll be able actually to hold it and then you just twist it, okay? That's it, all you do, you're actually able to twist it and turn it like at the same time, but I'm not that, um, what's it called? Talented. Um, it gets really easy once it actually is done and then all you do, uh, can you see? All you do is you open the legs back up and then there's this little beak. See, so you'll, you'll put the little beak right here and then you will lift up. And yes, 
it's that easy. I'm not kidding. Like it's so easy. So that's the condensed milk. I should have got my spatula, but it's actually in my other room. So I was just showing it on a demo, a different demo. So we're going to put that in here. Oh wait, no, I have one right here. Silly. So this um, silicone spatula is super nice too. And the other thing that's cool about using that can opener is you don't have to worry about cutting like your silicone spatula on the edges when you go in here and do that. Cause I've actually done that before with a different type spatula. All right. So I got all of that out of there and I'm just going to mix this up a little bit. And then I'm going to be putting it in the microwave for one minute at a time until it's melted. It says it doesn't have to be melted all the way. It says mostly melted. It's okay if marshmallows are not complete, completely not melted. So I'm excited for this. Are you guys excited? You guys can come eat it because I'm on a diet. <laughs> so I guess I'm not that excited for it. <laughs> but anyways, all right, so I'm gonna put this in the microwave for one minute. Just gonna set it up there. And then, there and then I'll talk to you guys for a little bit. So um, I will tell you a little bit how I got started in Tupperware. So about a year and a half ago, over a year and a half ago now, Amy, she's on here, she actually um, was having a party for somebody and they invited me to a Facebook party. So then um, she asked me to have a party and I said, yes. And then she asked me to join and I said no 10,000 times. And then she kept asking and asking and asking. And then I finally said yes. <laughs> And it actually was probably the best decision of my life. Obviously, it's changed my whole life around. If you know my story a little bit, then you kind of have seen that in the past couple of months. But over time, um, it was just amazing. I earned a free trip to uh, Myrtle Beach. And then I just actually earned the company car. And I earned a trip to Disney World, too. So as soon as COVID is over, I will get to take that. So it's really cool what Tupperware can actually do for you. And People always said the best part about it, actually, besides meeting all your friends and everything, would probably have to be, um, would have to be being able to make your own schedule. So I always thought that people just said that. I'm not kidding. Like, I was like, no, they don't get to make their own schedule. It's honestly true. Like, I didn't think that until literally, probably this past month when I'm like at the beach in the middle of the day or yesterday, I dropped the kids off at their first day of school. And then I went to Ikea in the middle of the day, drove two hours. I was like, oh yeah. All right, so I'm gonna put that in for another 30 seconds cause it's getting there. And then I'm gonna be putting it inside of our new mix in, ooh, mix and whip, whip and mix, whip and mix. Um, but yeah, so, but yeah, that is really cool part about Tupperware is being able to make your own schedule. So this is our new whipping mix. How cool is this? There's two different gears, you guys. So we used to have that one that goes inside on top of the mixing store, but this is different because it has gears and it's so easy to use. I am absolutely amazed by it every time I use it. So, um, but yeah, so it has the silicone stopper on the bottom, so it's not gonna slide all over the place when you're using it. And I'm gonna be putting, mixing this up a little bit more and then, yeah, see the marshmallows didn't uh, melt all the way. So I'm gonna pour this into the mix in, whip in mix, right? Yes. And then we're gonna add our vanilla extract and our nuts, because I decided to do some nuts too. This is a lot. I hope I didn't put too much chocolate in. Knowing me, I probably did. That's how I roll. You guys know that I'm the messiest baker, mate, cooker in the world, if that's what you call it. All right, so I'm actually gonna just chop up some um, nuts inside of our chopping pot. Sorry, it's loud. But if you don't have one of these, you guys, look how easy it is to chop up nuts. That was pecans, fully full pecans. We're gonna just add those in there too. So I got my whip and mix all filled up, and then I'm just gonna put it on, um, I'm guessing gear two, I've only used this one time, but I'm amazed by it. And I've watched so many people use it. So, oh, and they have these little teeth and they go in between the handle. So it gets in there nice and good. Oh, it's got the little extra, but guess what? We can use the little funnel. How about that? So the funnel is kind of cool too. This is the same as the power chef. So if you have it over to the side, 
it's going to lock into place so your um, your liquid isn't going to fall in there, but all, so you can measure it and then you can move it right over and then it'll pour right in. So we're going to, um, I keep my extra, it doesn't fit into my little pour. I put it into a little Tupper mini, the rest of it. And then I'm going to use, of course, our amazing tablespoons. And there it goes into there. So awesome, right? So love the Tupper minis. They're just so good for everything. So all right, we got that in there and we are going to do it now. So we are going to turn it. Is that what you call it? I'm like left-handed, so it's a little, it's made for both, but it's a little hard at first, but it's going. So we blend in gear two until mixture is fully combined and smooth. So we're going. You guys like it? <laughs> I feel so awkward just doing it when nobody's talking to me. All right, I think it's, it's getting there. Alrighty. So yeah, so oh it smells good. And the you can hear the, the one. You can hear the one. You can't even move it on the one. Who's talking? Somebody's talking we'll talk. to me? I'll talk to you. <laughs> oh hi. Hi. It looks awesome. Does it oh, smell just, really good? Fell off. <laughs> yeah, it does. All right, smell that's good. definitely yeah. it can get really tough if you're making fudge, so. Well, now I don't know how to get this back on. So hold on, hold on. Oh, there's it a little dot. There it is. Yep. I got it. I got it. It locked into place. Hey, hey, hey. All right, we're done. With, oh, it's not on gear two. See, it's real hard on gear two. I need to like put it on my actual counter. I think. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's better. <laughs> I was on my stove. All yeah, right. Yeah. So oh yeah, there we go. All right, so now we're gonna be putting it inside of our silicone pan. Did this one go away? I can't remember. Um, and we're gonna put it, we're gonna just put the uh, mixture inside of the silicone pan, and then we're gonna put it in the freezer for one to two hours, and we're putting it inside of a shallow um, freezer mate, so it isn't all flimsy in there, and then it's safe in the, in the fridge, in the freezer too, if you wanna put it in the freezer. So yeah, I think that's it for me though. Natasha, she's up next. She's gonna make. I'm making a um, peach wine slushy with the Power Chef, which I haven't used this yet because I usually just use my little ninja thing because it's on the counter and the kids are, they never want to wait for me to chop stuff up. But I'm um, using my Power Chef and my favorite knife, the um, Universal Series Chef Knife, which is, I mean, I need to get more of these because these are amazing. But um, I have a peach, any kind of white wine, or you can you can do it with raspberries and red wine, whatever you want. And then I always use a couple frozen peaches um, just so it's a little slushy. And then I just cut them up. I always cut them in half, um, even when I'm using um, just the regular blender or anything. But okay, so do that. Here's my peach, and then this is how simple it is to cut anything with this knife. I mean, it's it's effortless. Cut that up. And while I'm cutting this up, I'll tell you how I got started with Tupperware. So um, I went to my cousin's party, and Amy um, was helping her out um, with her party, and Kelly was there. So that's how I that's how I met Kelly, and then um, I booked a party, and um, then I signed up. Well, I bought a bunch of stuff, and then I signed up to do Tupperware. Well, I said no a couple times, and then um, then I said yes, <laughs> and I was super busy with work and soccer and everything, um, so I didn't really do as great as I originally planned to do. Um, so it, it's been like a year. I mean, it's been over a year since I've, um, been with Tupperware and then Kelly reached out to me again and I had just actually gotten laid off cause, um, I work in architecture and in New York, all my projects are in New York and California and they put a hold on everything. So I just was like, Hey, that'll be a nice way to get, um, some extra 
cash and also, you know, um, make myself feel better when I spend my money on Tupperware. <laughs> um, so I, that's how I got started again. And I've actually already, I've had two parties. Um, and I think I've had more sales in these two parties than I had the whole, like the last time that I, um, <laughs> sold Tupperware. So I'm really excited to be back. Hopefully, uh, this year will be better. Um, and so I have everything chopped up in the Power Chef. And then I'm just going to go ahead and sit this on here and twist it. And I'm going to take my, and I don't know if you can see it going in there, but then you can see all the lines for measuring your liquid. And I want this to be uh, really slushy, really thick. So I'm not going to add that much wine. I know it looks like a lot, but it's not. All right, spilled a little bit. Yeah, bear with me because this is my first time using this little contraption right here. All right, okay. And then just get off. See how easy that is? I mean, it's so easy. And then I'll add some more wine. This is a great thing too, so you can make smoothies, um, milkshakes. You don't even have to pull it that hard. That looks good. And then I will put this little guy back on there. Put a little more wine in there. This little cup is also a Tupperware cup. It's, they're my favorite. Um, I didn't see them in the catalog again, and I forgot what they were called. But here's the drink. It's very pretty, and it's delicious, and it smells amazing. I bet. That looks awesome. Thank I you. Want, that is awesome. I don't even drink wine, and I want some of that. It's so good. And you don't even really taste the wine. It just tastes like a smoothie, except, you know, if you're having like people over in the summertime, um, we will make them. My friend is the one who told me about it. And I go to this place called Wooden Wine in Avon that has um, wine slushies, but they use like a lot of um, frozen fruit. But I like it with the fresh fruit. It just, it tastes better. Great. That's awesome. Um, and I wanted to hop on too and show you how easy and nice it looks inside there. I chopped up some more nuts and it fit perfectly inside of there. So if you have this pan, um, it's super easy to make and I'm going to probably break my diet. So that's it. So back to you, Pam. <laughs> All right. Thank you everybody for being on tonight. And you know, um, this is one of the greatest things about our business is we just really do help each other grow a business and um, really teach each other all the little tricks and ideas. And, you know, I don't know that I knew I could make a wine slushy in there, but I will be trying now. <laughs> and I think that sounds delicious. Um, and so when you join the Tupperware business, you can get 25% off everything you purchase. So if you're watching us tonight and you think, I'd like to have that, I'd like to have that, then go ahead and get in on our deal and get 25% off. And I will tell you that we have flash sales often and the wine glasses that you just saw were just offered on a wine set on a, on a flash sale not long ago. And so we have all kinds of fun things that come out that are just meant for the sales force and sometimes are open for the customers too for a very short time. And so if you're not um, already on our team, make sure you tell your uh, Tupperware rep that you really want to know about flash sales and so you can find some of the really good deals that come out. Um, and sometimes they last 
a day or two, sometimes they last a couple hours, so be ready, all right? Um, and so when joining our team, if you shoot, should you choose to do that, you can have all of this Tupperware, <laughs> and this, all of this Tupperware is $150 worth of Tupperware, and your price is only 60, but we'll give you back the $60 if you decide to try this, if you sell $1,000 in your first um, 60 days. It's so good, and you don't even really taste the wine, it just tastes like a smoothie, except, you know, if you're having like people over in the summertime, um, we will make them, my friend is the one who told me about it. And I go to this place called Wooden Wine in Avon that has um, wine slushies, but they use like a lot of um, frozen fruit, but I like it with the fresh fruit. It just, it tastes better. Right, that's awesome. Um, and I wanted to hop on too and show you how easy and nice it looks inside there. I chopped up some more nuts and it fit perfectly inside of there. So if you have this pan, um, it's super easy to make and I'm gonna probably break my diet. So that's it. So back to you, Pam. All right, thank you everybody for being on tonight. And you know, um, this is one of the greatest things about our business is we just really do help each other grow a business and um, really teach each other all the little tricks and ideas and you know, I don't know that I knew I could make a wine slushie in there, but I will be trying now. <laughs> and I think that sounds delicious. Um, and so when you join the Tupperware business, you can get 25% off everything you purchase. So if you're watching us tonight and you think, I'd like to have that, I'd like to have that, then go ahead and get in on our deal and get 25% off. And I will tell you that we have flash sales often and the wine glasses that you just saw were just offered on a wine set on a, on a flash sale not long ago. And so we have all kinds of fun things that come out that are just meant for the sales force and sometimes are open for the customers too for a very short time. And so if you're not um, already on our team, make sure you tell your uh, Tupperware rep that you really want to know about flash sales and so you can find some of the really good deals that come out. Um, and sometimes they last a day or two, sometimes they last a couple hours, so be ready, all right? Um, and so when joining our team, if you shoot, should you choose to do that, you can have all of this Tupperware, <laughs> and this, all of this Tupperware is $150 worth of Tupperware, and your price is only 60, but we'll give you back the $60 if you decide to try this, if you sell $1,000 in your first um, 60 days. Now that's a pretty cool idea. That's like, come in and try this out. If you like it, stay with it. If you don't like it, you can leave. It doesn't matter. I will share with you, I came in for that reason. And that was a long time ago. And, and when I joined Tupperware, I honestly came in to get the kit and to get everything I wanted in my kitchen. And so that I didn't have to pay full price because I was a frugal mom and I had two little boys and I knew that my job in life was not, um, it was to be a mom and I wanted to do that. When I got into Tupperware, I realized I could make some really good money on the side and still be a good mom and work around my own hours and be there when the kids got on the bus and got off the bus and, and make those kind of calls and not have somebody else tell me I had to be in the office or I had to be at work somewhere. Um, and I could make as much money as my girlfriends were making working 40 hours a week and I could do it in two nights. Um, so today our world has evolved a lot and now we don't necessarily do in-home Tupperware parties at all. We do everything online and we'll teach you how to do that. And I really think that Champion Enterprises has huge perks because we have so much training available for you. And especially when it comes to your Facebook parties, we even have uh, links and posts and things like that, that all you have to do is copy and paste and run a party. Uh, you can add your own style to it, you can add your own flair, or you can copy and paste and go from there. So it's pretty cool. Now this kit doesn't does have the mini chopper. Now you saw her use the large chopper tonight to make the slushy. This would be a very small slushy. This is really designed to chop nuts. It's good to chop onions. I love to make my own uh, quick and easy um, uh, pasta sauces with it. If I'm going to make a little bit of, of a, um, a great little um, nuts and parsley in there and make my own, um, you know, a little bit of grated cheese in there. And you can come up with a really delicious 
homemade pasta sauce. I make my own yum yum sauce in here. Um, it's great for chopping and turning anything into almost soup or just mixing great sauces that you want to make. If you like to blend your own sauces and make your own mayonnaise and stuff like that in small portions, you can do it right here. Um, then you also have our to-go cup, and I love this. This is our eco cup, and it's designed to take with you everywhere you go. Get your Starbucks in this cup and not in their disposable cup you have to throw away. Um, it is also really cool because it has the um, keep hot tab on here. So you can put that in there and it's gonna keep it hot for you, keep it from spilling in the car, wrap it around and put it in its little home. And when it goes in its little home, it's not ever in your way, all right? Uh, so, and also the sleeve does come off. So if you wanna take the sleeve off, you can do that pop it back on. And the purpose of the sleeve is so that you can hold it when it's hot, when you fresh put hot coffee in there. And then we have our to-go little lunch bowl. And this is perfect because you can rock the cap on there and put that in the microwave. It has feet on the bottom to hold it up out of the, uh, out of the uh, moisture in the microwave that might be there, or just hold it up so the microwaves go all the way around it. When you're working, going to work, you never know what's in that microwave. And you look in there and it's not really clean, well then don't put anything in there without a lid on it and Tupperware allows you to do that. All you do is rock the cap and leave the lid on and the advantage that you have is nothing's going to fall into your food because if there is moisture in your food and there is a dirty microwave, the moisture in your food will cause the dirt to come off the sides of the microwave and it can land in your food and you don't want that. That's disgusting. Somebody else's lunch from last week you know, I don't care if it's a money made piece. I don't want it. All right. And then we have our awesome little to go lunches. Now these are so nice because you can use them for the kids lunches, but I'm telling you, that's a powerful snack right there. You can put your almonds in here, some cranberries in there, some cheese in there, some crackers in there, seal it up. Things don't mix around when they're in there. And you have two that come in the lunch, uh, in the kit. And one is yellow and one is aqua, two of my favorite colors, actually. Then we have a sampling again of two other products in our line. Uh, a very big rock star in Tupperware's line is the Fridge Smarts. The Fridge Smarts are designed to make your produce last two to three times longer. This is actually designed in a lab before it ever went to the art department to make it pretty because all fruits and vegetables have gases. And as they lose their own gases, they rot their own skin. So when that happens, your strawberries kill themselves and your broccoli gets gray and fuzzy. You don't know whether to feed it or eat it. And all of those kind of nasty things go on in the crispa drawer because we should have called the crispa drawer the rotted drawer. That's what happens in there. And especially if it's in a plastic bag. A plastic bag for fruits and vegetables is like a death sentence. So I would recommend that you use our Fridge Smart. You can see the grate on the bottom, holds it up out of its moisture, and nobody wants to lay in their own moisture, right? And your strawberries are gonna last you two to three times longer inside of here. Now, what is that for you? If your strawberries are lasting you two days, I will tell you right now, it's an easy quote for me to tell you my strawberries last me 10 days. The other thing, broccoli, if your broccoli is lasting you a week, and it's fine and you're using it up, great. Would you love your broccoli to last you three weeks? And that's exactly what can happen inside of here. So it gives you more time to be protective in your kitchen, okay? Because if you're like I am, I go to the grocery store with really good intentions and I come home and life happens. Before I go to the grocery store again, I clean out the refrigerator and I just get irritated with myself because I didn't get to that before it died. <laughs> and so this product line is giving you a definite extension of your good intentions, okay? The top has got a grid on it that you are gonna slide. And if you have a heavy gasser, it's going to go all the way to the left. If it's got a light gasser, all the way to the open side. And if it's a medium gasser, you're gonna put it right in the center. Now the medium gassers would be your strawberries, any of your raspberries, your blueberries, your blackberries, any of that. Your heavy gassers, your broccoli, you probably knew that already, right? Your cauliflower is a heavy gasser. And then the medium gassers are, they're all pictured here, so you don't have to remember any of this. The medium gassers are also uh, here in, this, uh, in the list. And I will tell you that you can mix your vegetables if you're using a large fridge smart, if you're mixing the same gas levels, but don't mix other gas levels. And do remember, you might be cutting off a day or two if you're doing that, but if you want to do that, that's certainly practical too. There are a couple other hints for uh, the saving uh, fruits and vegetables. One of my fruits that I always buy is peppers. If you put the peppers in the um, fridge smart with the stem up, it is going to last you longer. And if you cut a pepper and only need part of it, always cut off the bottom, never cut the side off and try to save the rest of it. 
cut off the bottom and work your way up until you use the whole pepper. Sometimes I use a part of a pepper for a recipe, especially some of my sauces I'm making for my pastas um, and my pestos that I'm making, uh, but also my omelets. If I don't want to cut up the whole thing, I'm in a hurry. I just want to cut up part of it. Top of a pizza, if you're making a small pizza in our grill, I love to do that as well. So that's just a helpful hint. And there's lots more of those we'd love to share with you at your Tupperware party, whether you do your Facebook party, let us share some helpful hints for keeping produce longer and we have a lot of them. And then the modular mate, another rock star in our kitchen. It's a complete food storage system for all your dry goods. Why have boxes in there when the boxes absolutely invite pests? And you don't want those little pests in your kitchen, you know, the ones with eight legs. No, not a good idea. And you know, this is a great idea because you can see through there. You know what you have left. You know what you need to buy by just simply opening up your pantry. You also have a pour off seal on this one which um, is an extra that you can get, an extra little perk you can get in our Tupperware line. If you're pouring rice, if you're pouring brown sugar, brown sugar doesn't pour, does it? And so you never use this size for brown sugar. I use a square for brown sugar. It actually holds the same amount, but it's a square container so I can make my mess inside of there. But everything that pours, this is perfect for. And so you think about what you have and what you need in your pantry. And we love doing that custom kitchen planning for you as well. And helping you organize your entire pantry to the modular mate line. And these are like Legos for ladies. They fit together in this nice little square outfit <laughs> that you can put together. Or you can have different shapes and sizes to make the perfect combination for your beverage center, maybe your breakfast center with all your cereals, your baking cereal with your center with your flour and your sugar and your brown sugar, um, all of that stuff. And locking them up in tea. Tea should be locked up in a container at all times, airtight container because it absorbs moisture. So you can see why you need this. You need all of this because it's your starter kit, all right? Whether it's your starter kit for your kitchen or your business, it's a perk for you to have. The other option we have over here is a full kit. Now this is a partial kit, that's what we call it. And this is a business kit. I'm here for the business, or if you're here for the basics. And now the business kit is actually $450 worth of Tupperware, and um, 410, I'm sorry. And it only cost you 109. And remember that $60 I told you we'd give you if you sell $1,000 in your first 60 days, we'll still give you the $60 if you sell $1,000 in your first 60 days. You come with a whole lot more product and I love our breakfast maker. It comes with the inserts. And what's great about that is you can make your poached eggs or you can take them out and make brownies. It's a great little breakfast maker. And who says you can't have brownies for breakfast, right? Yeah. Um, and we have freezer containers, another sampling of one of our rock stars in our kitchen. And these are great because they hug, hug each other. They're optimally designed to freeze fast and thaw fast. So you have eight, less bacteria growth inside your freezer, which can happen. A lot of people don't know that. If it's not freezing fast and thawing fast, it can grow bacteria. So you always want freeze fast, thaw, thaw fast. In fact, I like to flash freeze a lot of my fruits and vegetables if I'm gonna freeze them. And so that I don't put them in a container and let them freeze slow. I flash freeze them on what you saw Kelly use a little bit ago, the silicone sheet. And then I pop them in the freezer and I can pull out what I need when I need it. They're not all frozen together. Then we have our microwave line that looks like glass and always looks like glass and it won't crack, spill, spill chip or break. And if it does, we replace it for you because it has a lifetime guarantee. Don't you love our lifetime guarantee? It doesn't need a receipt and all you need is the word T-U-P-P-E-R-W-A-R-E -E, and you get a lifetime guarantee. If it cracks, splits, pills, chips, breaks, we're gonna replace it for you and no receipt needed, just the word Tupperware on the container. And you don't have to go to, back to the same Tupperware lady. However, I hope if it's a champion, you do. And then we have a wonderful water bottle that I love so much in my home. And this one, I will take this and put it in the refrigerator, have it ready to go for me. So when I'm ready to head out the door, I can grab my water bottle. And I will tell you a little hint. If you take these and put these in the freezer and you lay them on their side and you only fill it halfway, when you pull it out of the freezer, you can finish filling it up the rest of the way with water and you have a great big chunk of ice and it's gonna keep you, uh, your water colder for you longer because it's so big and it doesn't, they don't melt as fast. For little, small ice cubes will melt. Big ice cubes don't melt as fast. All right, that's a bowl junior and a spatula. I'm addicted to the spatula, honest to God. You saw, uh, you saw um, us use already the Power Chef, Natasha. Measuring cups and measuring spoon, every kitchen needs them, but ours are the best. We've been ranked number one in accuracy. And so if you're baking, you need these really bad. 
if you are cooking, <laughs> I cook kind of like Natasha, a little this, a little that, <laughs> right? And it works out just fine. The whip or the chopper comes both with our Power Chef. And I will tell you, the mini chopper over here and the Power Chef use the same head. They're interchangeable. You'll love the system and you're gonna want it all. So go ahead and join our team and we'd love to have you. And there's a mini chopper that comes in between the two of these and you get that as a bonus for joining our team this month for just, I believe, $15. Pretty good deal. All right. I hope you enjoyed us tonight. How many guests do we have on tonight? Thank you so much for being with us tonight, guys. And I hope you join us again next Wednesday at 8 o'clock for Cooking with Champions.